Hello everyone, Dr. Boyd here. Welcome back to Parently. Today we're going to t discuss the very specific diagnosis of mild preeclampsia. Now, as I mentioned in my global overview of preeclampsia, five to seven percent of all pregnancies end up with the diagnosis of preeclampsia. Most, fortunately, have the diagnosis of mild versus severe. So what separates mild from severe? Well, it's a clinical diagnosis as well as a laboratory diagnosis of whether you have mild preeclampsia or severe preeclampsia. So again, preeclampsia is a blood pressure of 140 over 90 and the spilling of protein in your urine. Mild preeclampsia typically has blood pressures closer to the 140 over 90 range up to 159 over 100 range. And in that category, oftentimes your healthcare provider will put you on a blood pressure medicine. Labetalol, for example, is a, is a beta blocker that's frequently used in pregnancy. It's given orally, sometimes one to two to three times per day. It's a very good treatment option for preeclampsia. The second thing that we see is protein spilled from your urine. So oftentimes your healthcare provider will send you home with a jug and tell you to collect your urine for 24 hours and then return it to the hospital. So a diagnosis of mild preeclampsia means that you're spilling a minimum of 300 milligrams of protein in a 24 hour cycle. So once these two parameters, blood pressure 140 over 90 and the spilling of at least 300 milligrams of protein in urine you're diagnosed at that point with preeclampsia. Now, again, we're talking about mild preeclampsia in this video. So what happens at this point? First of all, there's two patients. There's you and your baby, and we need to assess both of you. So at least on a weekly basis, we will see you in the office. We will check your blood pressure. We may perform laboratory values to determine if any other values are changing during your diagnosis of mild preeclampsia. Many times, and myself included, I will monitor your fetus. I will place you on a non-stress test machine. And in my office, that was frequently what we did. And we would monitor the assessment of the baby. Based on what the non-stress test indicates, we can reassure you the baby is tolerating the preeclampsia. We also may perform an ultrasound. Specifically, we're looking at how much fluid is around the baby. That's called the amniotic fluid volume. You have to remember, placental perfusion, how much blood supply is the placenta getting from you as the patient, oftentimes will drive how much the baby's urinating. And remember, the amniotic fluid volume is simply an indication of how well the baby's kidneys are working. That in reflection then indicates how well the placenta is working. So if the placenta is working well, and that means that the baby's kidneys are being perfused, in other words, they're getting adequate amounts of blood supply, at that point, your baby will produce adequate amounts of urine. Therefore, your amniotic fluid volume will, will remain normal. That's a good indicator of how well your baby's doing intrauterine. Now, how often, again, will you be assessed by your healthcare provider with your diagnosis of mild preeclampsia? Every healthcare provider is a little bit different. Some are a little bit more nervous and see you frequently. Could be every day in the office or every other day. Some are a little bit more laid back and see you on a weekly basis. It's important, though, that you have your assessment performed on a routine basis. No less than every week should you see your healthcare provider. And again, checking your blood pressure, performing a urine evaluation each subsequent visit by a clean catch urine. And then if your healthcare provider looks up, thinks that you're getting sicker, he may perform another 24 hour urine every week or every two weeks. That's very specific for your healthcare provider and every healthcare provider is a little bit different. Now, if your mild preeclampsia remains mild, 
We will simply monitor you until the point where you can be induced. We simply prefer to manage you at least until 39 weeks if your baby and you are stable. Once we get to 39 weeks, then we can move forward with induction. And oftentimes your healthcare provider will talk to you about that. Induction of labor. We have a separate video on that. It's very important that you would go look at that. Some patients, though, do not have the ability to be induced for whatever reasons, and they will proceed with cesarean section. Again, that's a discussion that you need to have with your health care provider. Mild preeclampsia. Fortunately, once your pregnancy is over, either after you've delivered vaginally or by C-section, reverses itself, and usually within one to two weeks, all of your blood pressures have returned to normal, you stop spilling protein, and you're back to normal. That's mild preeclampsia today, a very complex subject. In a separate video, we'll talk about severe preeclampsia. I hope this was helpful. Have a great day.